get for their money, given that it wasn't needed for the inauguration. Well, a couple of weeks ago, a reporter named Jake Horowitz posted a story at Mike.com about at least one thing that appears to have come out of that money. Um, on February 8th, two and a half weeks into the new administration, the White House hosted a meeting between several National Security Council officials and this guy. I think we've got a picture of him. Yeah. We now know, thanks to FEC filings released yesterday by the White House, that when this guy, this international investor, got that White House meeting with National Security Council officials on February 8th at the White House, we now know that his dad had just written over $600,000 in checks to fund the spectacularly overfunded inauguration. According to Jake Horowitz's reporting, the son got a meeting with National Security Council officials on February 8th. Then the following day, on February 9th, he was actually ushered into an even higher level meeting, ushered into the top tier of the White House for a meeting personally with the president's top advisor, Steve Bannon. The purpose of those meetings, the National Security Council meeting and then the Steve Bannon meeting, the purpose of both of them was reportedly for him to present his detailed 10-point plan for changing U.S. foreign policy toward Venezuela and specifically dropping U.S. sanctions toward that country. The guy reportedly put Venezuela's foreign minister on the phone with one of these National Security Council officials that he was meeting, put the foreign minister from Venezuela on the phone during the meeting, apparently just to show off that he could get the foreign minister on his cell phone meeting. Now, the Venezuela doesn't get a ton of political coverage in the United States. Um, but Venezuela is a country in intense turmoil right now. Um, the sanctions that the U.S. put on Venezuela uh, were put there in 2014 after 43 people got killed while participating in anti-government protests. Another three people got killed in anti-government protests just yesterday. There have been weeks and weeks and weeks of rioting and violent protests. And now today, Venezuelans are enraged anew by this brand new FEC filing from the White House, which shows that interesting thing about the guy who got the meeting with the NSC officials and with Steve Bannon. It also shows that while Venezuelans have been rioting in the streets, while there have been acute food shortages and medicine shortages in Venezuela, this is a country that should be a rich country, but people have literally been starving in Venezuela. Somehow in the midst of this incredible economic and political crisis in Venezuela, Venezuela's state-run oil company somewhere found a half million dollars to donate to the very, very, very inexplicably overfunded Trump inauguration. Venezuela's state-run oil company gave him a half a million bucks, too. So Venezuela's state-run oil company is dumping money into the Trump inauguration, half a million bucks. Meanwhile, another half million plus was apparently enough to open up not just the White House, but the National Security Council, the freaking National Security Council, to a very well-connected donor and international investor who had a plan that he wanted to share on Venezuela. I mean, Venezuela is in dire straits. It does not have the money to spare, and yet they inexplicably dumped a half million on Trump. And this Venezuelan